to session eight of Suffolk County Championships. A warm welcome to those who are watching on live stream. We come to we start with event 801, the boys 100 meters breaststroke. Right, over to you, referee. So in lane one, we have Evan Harrison from Stowmarket. Lane two, Max Palmer from West Suffolk. In three, James Whitaker from Team Waveney. In lane four, Noah Turner from Leyston. In lane five, Dexter Winterburn from Team Ipswich. In lane six, Ethan Wallace from St. Felix. In seven, Tyron Williams from Team Ipswich. And in eight, Buddy Thane from Team Ipswich. And after the first length, in turning the first in, in lane three, James Whitaker from Team Waveney. So it's James in lane three and no one in lane four who are setting the early pace. Also coming through well from in lane six from St. Felix is Ethan Wallace. It's going to be Ethan who's going to turn first just ahead of Noah in lane four. So 50 meters through and nothing really to choose from lanes three, four and six. So it's St. Felix's Ethan Wallace in lane six, just marginally ahead at the moment, but still swimming strongly as Layston's Noah Turner in lane four. Coming through well in Dexter Winterburn in lane five from Team Ipswich. And so it's, as we come down the final 25 meters, it's still Ethan from St. Felix in lane five. It's going to be a really tight finish. There's still Ethan in lane, in lane six holding off Noah in lane four. So it's going to be the Felix swimmer who's going to come in first in this heat. Coming through really quickly in lane three from Team Waveney, James Whitaker. And in the third place, Noah Turner from Leyston. Well done, boys. We move on to heat two of the boys, 100 meters breaststroke. In lane one, we have Freddie Nichols from Leyston. Lane two, Dylan Lambo from Stowmarket. Lane three, Louis Palmer from West Suffolk. Lane four, Richard Level from West Suffolk. Lane five, Jake Battle from Stowmarket. In six, Heath Harrison from Stowmarket. In seven, Reese Watcham from St. Felix. And lane eight, Rex Harrison from Stowmarket. And it's West Suffolk, Richard Level, who sets the early pace in lane four. He turns first. Just holding off Stowe Market's Jake Battle in lane five, but coming down really strongly in lane one is Freddie Nichols from Leyston. So it's Freddie in lane one swimming out there by himself. So lane one and lane four, they're going to turn, and also going well in lane eight is Rex Harrison from Stowe Market. So the three of them all turn fairly close together. A good turn there from Freddie in lane one. So still Leyston's Freddie Nichols in lane one and West Upwick's Richard Levin lane four. 
slightly ahead of the rest of the field. And as we turn for home, it's still Freddie in lane one who's holding off the rest of the field. It's Freddie in lane one, followed by Richard in lane four. So Freddie's swimming hard down in lane one, but chasing him down in lane four. West Suffolk, Richard Level. Also coming through strongly in, in lane five is Joe Marcus, Jake Battle. It's going to be a really tight finish. Lanes one, four, five, and eight. It could be just so close to call. Just Freddie in lane one ahead of Richard in lane four. We move on to heat three of the boys' 100 meters breaststroke. In lane one, Angus Thompson from Deben. Lane two, Toby Glenister from St. Felix. Lane three, Orlando Whiting from St. Felix. Lane four, Alex Gaden from Team Ipswich. Lane five, Attila Moses from Team Ipswich. In lane seven, Benjamin Langford from Leiston. And lane eight, Joseph Handley from Stowmarket. So it's St. Felix's Orlando Whiting in lane three who sets the early pace. A strong turn, a really strong turn there from Orlando. She starts to... Uh, Got about body length to lead from Alex Gaden and Team Ipswich in lane four. So it's going to be Orlando turning first in lane three, followed by Alex in lane four. And then in lane six, lane seven, Leeson's Benjamin Langford. So it's Orlando Whiting from St. Felix in lane three, starting to pull ahead from Alex and Gaden from the Team Ipswich in lane four. So another strong length there from Alec, from Orlando. He turns for home. Turning in second place is a team up to Alexander Gaden. And then in lane seven, Benjamin Langford from Leiston. So it's the St. Felix swimmer who's going to come home first place in this heat. In a time of 1.32, 11 seconds better than his enter time, followed by Alexander Gaden, lane four, Team Ipswich, and in third place, lane seven, Benjamin Langford from Leiston.
Can we move on to heat four of the boys' 100 metres breaststroke? Over to you, referee. In lane one, Tom Phillips from West Suffolk. In lane two, Jano Seppeli from Team Ipswich. Lane three, Hayden Garrett from Team Waveney. Lane four, Harry Alexander from Team Ipswich. In lane five, Jude Mason from Stowmarket. Lane six, Aidan Scott from St. Felix. Lane seven, Matthew Cassell from Newmarket. And lane eight, James Took from Team Ipswich. So it's lane four, Ali Alexander from Team Ipswich, who turns first. So it's Harry setting the early pace here. Hayden Garrett from Team Waveney in lane three, just, just behind him. So they come into the last five meters this, of the first 50 meters. It's Harry turning first in lane three, followed by Hayden in lane three. So as team up switches, Harry Alexander still maintaining a body length lead from Hayden Garden, team Waveney in lane three. Nothing between those in, in third place at the moment. So another very strong underwater turn there from Harry. He continues to power down lane four for this final length. Still holding second place is Team Waveney's Hayden Garrett. And coming through between lanes two and lane five for third place. So as Harry takes first place, it's gonna be Hayden Garrett from Stowe Market, from Team Waveney taking second. And coming through in lane five, Jude Moosen from Stowe Market takes third place in this heat. We move on to heat five of boys 100 meters breaststroke. In lane one, Will Riley from Team Ipswich. Lane two, Finlay Blagg from Stowmarket. Lane three, Oscar Winterburn from Team Ipswich. Lane four, Taylor Ruffles Francis from Stowmarket. Lane five, James Ship from Milden Hall. Lane six, Evan Waldridge from St. Felix. In seven, William Jones from Team Ipswich. And eight, lane eight, Samuel Blackwell from West Suffolk. And after the first day, lane three, four, five, all neck and neck, just for a very marginal lead in lane Lane four is Stowe Markets, Taylor Ruffles, Francis. But very tight after the first 50 meters. So Taylor turns first. Nothing between the Team Ipswich and Milden Hall swimmers in lane three and five. So coming through strongly in lane three is Oscar Winterburn from Team Ipswich. Now challenging from the lead again from Taylor Ruffles, Francis and Stowe Market in lane four. So it's gonna be these two that turn for home both turning at the same time. So a good turn there from Oscar. He's just got a slight lead now. Taylor coming, challenging him here as we come into the red zone. It's gonna be really tight between first and second. Still Oscar just holding off Taylor at the moment. It's gonna be Oscar who touches first in lane, second in lane four. Taylor Ruffles Francis from Stowe Market and coming in third in lane five, James Ship from Milton Hall. We move on to heat six of the 100 meter breaststroke.
In lane one, Ewan Coakley from Team Ipswich. In lane two, Max Nichols from Leiston. In lane three, Daniel Turner from Team Waveney. In lane four, Samuel Everett from West Suffolk. In lane five, Ben Houghton from Hadley. Lane six, Ethan Thompson from Team Ipswich. Lane seven, Nicholas Barber from Stowe Market. And lane eight, Jack Biddle from Team Waveney. So it's the sermon lane four who turns first. And as he comes up, you've got a slight lead from the rest of the team. So it's West Suffolk, Samuel Everett. Just ahead of lanes three, four, and also swimming well in lane seven, Lucas Barber from Stowe Market. So Samuel Everett from West Suffolk turns first for final 50 meters. So Sam is the one who's setting the pace. Pushing hard for second place in lane five, it's Benjamin Houghton from Hadley, and then in lane three, Team Waving is Daniel Turner. But it's the West Suffolk swimmer who turns first for home. He's now established a three meter lead in the rest of them. So West Suffolk swimmer swimming hard comes into the red zone. It's going to be Samuel Everett in lane four who takes this heat. And in second place will be Ben Houghton from Hadley in lane five. And maybe looks like, like lane seven, just going to touch out in third place. That's Nicholas Barber from Stowe Market. We move on to heat seven. In lane one, Ben Every from St. Felix. In lane three, Nathan Bershinoff from St. Felix. Lane four, Ryan Crouch from Team Ipswich. Lane five, Aidan McKenney from West Suffolk. Lane six, Jacob Chapman from Stowe Market. Lane seven, Lewis Oliver from Newmarket. And in eight, Joseph Clark from Stowe Market. So as they come up in that turn, look swimming well in lane one, Ben Every from St. Felix. Set in the early pace, but also come down through strongly in his team. Team it switches Ryan Crouch in lane four. It's going to be Ryan in lane four who's going to turn first. Just ahead of Ben in lane one. Not much to choose from any of these swimmers in this heat. So still lanes one in lane four are setting the pace here. So it's Ben in lane one who, who turns first, being chased down hard from Team Ipswich, Ryan Crouch in lane four. Also a really good turn in lane three was St. Felix with Nathan Birchinoff, but it's still lane one leading here. So St. Felix is Ben, Ev ben Every in lane one. He's going to take first place just ahead of lane teammate St. Felix, Nathan Birchinoff in lane three, and in third place in lane seven, New Markets, Lewis Oliver. We have a couple of disqualifications to announce to event 801, heat number two, lanes one and lane five for technical infractions. We move on to heat eight of the boys' 100 meters breaststroke. <laughs> so 
So in lane one, we have Luke Wilson from Team Waveney. In lane three, Matthew Brown from Stowmarket. Lane four, Joseph McGonagall from Newmarket. Lane five, Thomas Spellman from Stowmarket. Lane six, Charlie Ruddle from Team Ipswich. Lane seven, Sam Tolpit from Deben. And lane eight, Ben Howlett from Team Ipswich. Turning first in lane eight and lane three. So just coming out ahead of the rest of the team is Newmarket's Joseph McGonagall in lane four. Hotly chased by Thomas Spellman from Stowmarket in lane five. It's going to be Joe McGonagall turns first. So a still Newmarket swimmer leading here, but hot in his heels, Thomas Spellman from Stowmarket in lane five. He's narrowed that gap. He's, he's going to turn just behind lane four swimmer. Nothing between the two of them in lane four and lane five. Also going well still in lane one is Luke Wilson from Team Waveney. But it's neck and neck between four and five between the Newmarket and Stowmarket swimmers. And it's just Tom Spellman from Stowmarket. He's going to come ahead, but also coming through late in lane eight, Ben Howlett. He takes third place. Just picked by Joseph McGonagall from Newmarket in lane four. We move on to heat nine of the boys' 100 meters breaststroke. In lane one, Alex Harrop from Team Mitzwitz. Lane two, Roy Mahanley from Stowmarket. Lane three, Matthew Vaughan from Team Waveney. Lane four, Sam Perkins from Team Mitzwitz. Lane five, Thomas Page from West Suffolk. Lane six, Erd Merham from West Suffolk. Lane seven, Archie Chamberlain from West Suffolk. And lane eight, William Eller from St. Felix. So we come down to the second length and going really strong in the lane five is West Suffolk's Thomas Page. He's setting the pace, now got half a body length ahead of lane four, which is Sam Perkins from Team Mitzwitz. So it's the West Suffolk swimmer in lane five turns first, just ahead of Sam Perkins from Team Mitchell's in lane four. Also chasing him down is Team Waveney's Matthew Vaughan in lane three. But as we come to the final turn, nothing between lanes four and lane five. As they turn together, head for home. Still neck and neck between these two swimmers, nothing to choose between them. As they come into the final five meters, matching each other stroke by stroke, it's just going to who spots the wall first, just lane four. So it's just Sam Perkins in lane four, just touches ahead of West Suffolk's Thomas Page. And then in third place in lane three, we have Team Wave and his Matthew Vaughan. We move on to heat 10. In lane one, we have Marcus Mascuso from St. Felix. Lane, sorry, lane two. In lane three, Joe Cooper from Team Ipswich. Lane four, Henry King from West Suffolk. In five, Miles Turner from West Suffolk. In six, Matthew Debener from Team Ipswich. In seven, Noah Crabb from Team Ipswich. And eight, Charlie McKinnon from St. Felix. So it's the West Suffolk swimmer in lane four, setting this early pace, already got a bit of a lead from lane five. His teammate, Miles Turner. So it's Henry King who turns first, and then nothing between lane three and lane four, lane five. So Miles Tur Turner is now starting to stretch ahead, comes in with the fastest entry time, so it's Miles going to turn first for home. And then teammate switch swimmer in lane three, Joe Cooper, and West Suffolk's Miles Turner in lane five, vying for second place in this heat. But Henry... Henry King, West Suffolk, in lane four, bringing this home. And in second place is going to be his teammate, Miles Turner, in lane five. 
followed by teammates which is Joe Cooper in lane three. Have a disqualification to announce event 801, heat six, lane number eight for a technical infraction. We move on to the final heat of event 801, the boys 100 meters breaststroke. In lane one, we have Jed Howard from Team Waveney. In lane two, Luca Page from West Suffolk. In lane three, Tom Boyd from Felixstowe. In lane four, Harvey Hall from Deben. Lane five, Lewis Chapman from Stowmarket. Lane six, James Clay from Stowmarket. Lane seven, Patch Robinson, Team Ipswich. And in eight, Thomas Deaton from Newmarket. So it's Harvey Hall from Deben in lane four, setting the pace where he's had fastest entry time, but hot in his heels, Lewis Chapman from Stowmarket in lane five. It's gonna be Harvey turning first from lane four. Then Lewis Chapman. So Harvey just starting to stretch out a little bit in lane four. Still in second place is Stowe Market's Lewis Chapman. And in third place, uh, Tom Boyd from Felix Stowe in lane three. So another strong turn there from Harvey. He's bringing this home. Oh, in second place is Stowe Market's Lewis Chapman. As Harvey comes in the last five meters, he's going to take first place. Lane five, Lewis Chapman, Stowmark, he takes second. And third place is going to be Tom Boyd from Felix Stowe in lane three. So we now move on to event 802, which is the girls' 100 meters backstroke. This will be swum in 14 heats, and this is heat one. So the swimmers in heat one, lane four, Amber Danes from Stowmarket, and lane five, Abigail McWatty from West Suffolk. So coming down this second 25, still not much to choose between them. Abigail potentially just slightly ahead from Amber. So Abigail turns first at the halfway mark, 49.19, with Abigail just behind. So now coming towards the third and final turn, Abigail still about half a meter ahead with Amber just behind. Amber really going to a leg kick now, just pulling out the lead. So 
So now entering the final five metres. Abigail still taking it there. And a great time there of 1.40.53. About 13 seconds inside our entry time. And Amber second, 1.43. 10 seconds inside. Well done, girls. So we now move on to Heat 2, referee. So the swimmers in heat two. Lane one, Daisy Hills from St. Felix. Lane two, Lottie Snell from Team Ipswich. Lane three, Casey Hopewell Campion from Newmarket. Lane four, Amelia Armstrong from Stowe Market. Lane five, Amelia Rowe from West Suffolk. And lane six, Isla Mason from Stowe Market. So looking like lane three. Casey from Newmarket just slightly eats out this early lead as we come towards the halfway mark, but not much to choose between the rest. So coming into the second turn, and Casey turns first there in 45.94, closely followed by Amelia Armstrong, Stowe Market in lane four. So Casey's still just holding that lead with the swimmers in lanes four and five. Just still tying in touch as we come to the third and final turn. So Casey over there, close behind with Amelia Armstrong and Amelia Rowe. Looking for that second, third place in this heat. So coming towards that final five meters. Still Casey in lane three. And Casey takes it there in 1.33, about 13 seconds inside her entry time. Second, Amelia Armstrong from Stowe Market. And Isla Mason from, sorry, and Amelia Rowe takes third. So disqualification from event 802, heat one, lane four, for a turn infringement. We now move on to heat three. So the swimmers in heat three, lane one, Isla Coakley from Team Ipswich, lane two, Rebecca Kelly from Team Ipswich, lane three, Alanthe Alty from Team Ipswich, lane four, India Clement from West Suffolk, lane six, Sophia Reed Hadley, lane seven, Olivia Swallow from Team Ipswich, and lane eight, Poppy Moore from West Suffolk. So it looks like lane eight taking the early lead in this heat, Poppy Moore from West Suffolk. Also going well, lane one, Isla Coakley from Team Ipswich. So as we come in towards the halfway mark, still looks like lane one, just leading from lane eight, but four and three close behind. 
So yeah, Poppy turns first, they're in 44-27. Followed by India Clement in lane four. So now coming towards the third and final time, still looks just lane one from lane eight, also lane three going well. So still Isla in lane one. Alanthi in lane three, and Poppy in lane eight. But also starting to make a comeback is Indu in lane four. So we're now entering towards that last five or ten metres. Isla Coakley from Team Ipswich looks like she's going to take it in lane one. They're in 129.68. With Alanthi Olti from Ipswich in second, and Indu Clement from West Suffolk third. So we now move on to heat four of the girls' 100 metres backstroke. Referee. So the swimmers in heat four, lane one, Izzy Gebbard from Team Ipswich, lane two, Lyra James Hadley, lane three, Molly Jiggins from Newmarket, lane four, Malus Jacquet from Felixstowe, lane seven, Nina Allen from Newmarket, and lane eight, Maggie Marshall. There was a disqualification in event 802 heat two, lane one, for a turn infringement, and also the finalists for the Boys, 100 metres breaststroke have been posted. Any withdrawals need to be notified by 4 o'clock. So, we're coming, coming towards the halfway mark. Looks like lane 7 just from 6 and 3. So, lane 7, Nina Allen from Newmarket. Just turns there, ahead of Molly in lane 3. And Maggie in lane 8. No, still pretty close here. May just be lane seven from lane three. So Nina and Molly have a good battle as they come into the third and final turn. Not much to choose between them. Maggie and Izzy also going well in lanes eight and one. A great turn there from Maggie from Team Ipswich in lane eight. But may just be lane three. Molly still just holding that lead as we come into the final Five metres. And Molly takes it there in 128.39. Followed by Nina Allen from Newmarket and Maggie Marshall from Team Ipswich in third. There was a disqualification event 802 Heat 2, lane 1 for a turn infringement. We now move on to Heat 5 of the 100 backstroke. So the swimmers in heat five, lane one, Brooke Copping from West Suffolk, lane three, Nicole Pedley from Team Ipswich, lane six, Fr Francesca Thompson from Team Waveney, lane five, Samantha Mart Martellino from Newmarket, lane six, Lily Hill St. Felix, lane seven, Emily Turner St. Felix, and lane eight, Lily Monday from Team Ipswich. So the early lead is lane three, which is Nicole from Team Ipswich. Also swimming well, lane six, Lily Hills from St. Felix. Lane eight, Lily Monday, also going well. Come to that halfway mark. And Nicole turns first there in 40.45. Closely followed by Samantha Martellino and Lily Hills. 
Nicole going really well here. Pulled out a two or three metre lead as we come into that third and final turn. Lily Monday from Team Ipswich also going really well on this third length in lane eight. But it's Nicole from Lily. Another great turn from Lee there in lane eight. But still lane three. But Francesca from Team Waveney also coming back strong as is Brooke Copping in lane one. Some real strong finishes here. But it looks like Nicole Penalty from Team Ipswich takes that in 124.67. Second lane four, Francesca Thompson from Team Waveney. And third, Lily Monday from Team Ipswich. So we now move on to heat six of the girls' 100 backstroke referee. And the swimmers in the six heats. Lane one, Charlotte Catchpole from Leyston. Lane two, Grace Mutton, Team Ipswich. Lane three, Amelia Lewis, Team Ipswich. Lane four, Eva Howlett, Team Waveney. Lane five, Nicole Taylor, St. Felix. Lane six, Francesca Barber, Stowe Market. Lane seven, Charlotte Kelly, Team Ipswich. And lane eight, Isabella Bryan, Team Ipswich. So, great first 25 there. Possibly just lane four, Eva Howlett from Team Waveney. Also going well, Amelia Lewis from Team Ipswich in lane three, as is Nicole Taylor from St. Felix in lane five. Come to the halfway mark, and Eva just turns first there in 38-41, followed by Nicole Taylor and Amelia Lewis. So, well done this third length now. Amelia Lewis from Team Ipswich making a slight move there. May just have edged ahead of Eva as they come into the third and final turn. Still not much to choose between them, but Amelia Lewis just turning first. With Eva Hallett from Team Waveney just behind. And Nicole Taylor from just about holding third place. Come now towards that final five metres. And Amelia Lewis has paced this really well. Finishing strongly in lane three. So Amelia takes it in 119.23. Eva Hallett in second from Team Waveney. And Nicole Taylor third from St Felix. Uh, another disqualification from event 802, heat four, lane three, for a turn infringement. So we now move on to heat seven of the girls' 100 backstroke. So the swimmers in heat seven, lane one, Ella Deaton from Newmarket, lane two, Poppy Cater from Team Ipswich, lane three, Am Amelia Johnson from St Felix, lane four, Isabel Moore, West Suffolk, lane five, May Richardson, Stowmarket, lane six, Sophie Harrington, Deben, lane seven, Selena Green, St Felix, lane eight, Emma Lovegrove, Mildenhall. So a pretty f uh, even first 25 there, halfway down the second length, lanes three and four. So Amelia and Isabel going well, but looks like Isabel Moore from West Suffolk just turns first there in 
closely followed by Amelia Johnson from St Felix. But still not much to choose between them. May Richardson and Sophie in lanes five and six. Also going well on this third length to keep themselves in amongst it. Still four or five girls in amongst it, almost turning together. So who can finish the strongest as we come down this fourth and final length? May just be lane three from lane four. But Isabel looking strong. But also lane five, which is May Richardson trying to get herself back into it. But looks like it's going to be lane four. Isabel Moore from West Suffolk takes that in 117.01. Amelia Johnson from Sealand from St. Felix second. And May Richardson from Stone Market takes third. So we now move on to Heat 8. So we're in Heat 8, Lane 1, Isabel Mallon from Newmarket. Lane 2, Isabel Whitaker, Team Waveney. Lane 3, Florence Tolbert, Newmarket. Lane 4, Amy Burgess, Team Ipswich. Lane 6, Maya Thompson from Team Waveney. Lane 6, Anna Flowers from Leyston. Lane 7, Evelyn Gaydon from Team Ipswich. Lane 8, Lee Steele, Team Ipswich. So Lane 1 taking early lead here, it's Isabel Mallon from Newmarket. Also going well, Amy Burgess from Team Ipswich in lane four. So they come to the 50 metre mark. So it's lane four, Amelia Burgess turns first in 37.01. So it still looks like Amelia from Team Ipswich taking out this third length. It's Isabel Mallon also still going well in lane one. Florence Tolbert from Newmarket looks like she might be lying third in lane three. So Amy Burgess turns well there on that third and final turn. Really starting to power towards the finish. But Isabel Mallon from Newmarket also looking, still looking strong. As are Summers in lanes three and four. But also Lily in lane eight making a strong finish. But it is Amy Burgess from Team Ipswich in 115.87. Second Lily Steele from Team Ipswich. And third Maya Thompson from Team Waverney. So now move on to Heat 9. So the swimmers in heat nine, lane one, Iona Tate from Deben, lane two, Nell Motts, Hadley, lane three, Florence Davies, Deben, lane four, Beatrice Sapansky from West Suffolk, lane five, Jemima Lashmar from Team Ipswich, lane six, Imogen Ball, Team Waveney, lane seven, Lily Brandt, Newmarket, and lane eight, Bethany Crawley, Team Ipswich. So it looks like a strong start at the far side of the pool, swimmers in lane seven and eight, Lily Brandt and Bethany Crawley. But not much between five or six swimmers at the moment. Also looking strong in the middle. Jemima in lane five. And it is lane seven. Lily Brent from Newmarket turns there in 36-31. But a good turn from Jemima Lashmore from Team Ipswich in lane five. So it looks no much now like Jemima and Lee taking it out as they come towards the third and final turn. So really not much between them. Still could just be Lily in lane seven. But Jemima and Florence also coming back strong in lane three. So three swimmers in here. Who's going to take it on the touch? So it was lane five. Jemima Lashworth from Team Ipswich in 
Lily Brandt from Newmarket takes second and Florence Davies from Deben takes third. So we now move on to Heat 10. And so the swimmers in heat 10, lane 1, Natalie Taylor from St Felix. Lane 2, Francesca Freeman from West Suffolk. Lane 4, Chloe Knight from Hadley. Lane 5, Grace Mann from Team Waveney. Lane 6, Rebecca Brown from Stowmarket. Lane 7, Grace Robinson from St Felix. And lane 8, Erin Barber, Newmarket. So it looks like a strong start here from Chloe from Hadley in lane 4. With Grace Robinson... Looking like maybe second over there in lane seven. But Chloe takes that first 50 in 33, 80. Got a good body length advantage from Grace Robinson in lane seven. And Grace Mann in lane five. So Chloe from Hadley still holding it lane four. But looking strong in lane seven and eight. So, Chloe still looking to pull away, come towards that final 10 metres. Chloe looking really strong there in lane four, with Grace in lane seven, potentially then lane eight. But great swim there from Chloe, takes that in 1.10.91. Grace Robinson second in lane seven from St Felix, and Erin Barber from Newmarket third in lane eight. So we now move on to Heat 11. So the swimmers in heat 11, lane 1, Adria Redonte from Newmarket, lane 2, Emily Knight, Hadley, lane 3, Megan Barker, West Suffolk, lane 4, Lilia Clarkson, St Felix, lane 6, Clementine Lavelle from Team Ipswich, lane 6, Elsie Pooley, West Suffolk, lane 8, Ellie Burwood, St Felix. So strong start here in lane 1, it's Adria from Newmarket, also going well over in lane 4 and 6. It looks like Adria will take the lead here at the 50 metre mark in 34.03, followed by Clementine in lane six. Great turn there from Clementine in lane six, closing the gap. But Adria in lane one still just about holding the lead as we come into that third and final turn. So it is Adria turning first from Clementine as they come into this final 25. Lily Cl Lilia Clarkson also going well in lane four, looking for a strong finish here. But looks like it could be lane one or lane six, it's going to be a great finish here. But it is Adria from Newmarket holds that 109.66. Second lane six, Clementine Lavelle. And third lane four, Lilia Clarkson from St Felix. So now move on to heat 12.
And so the swimmers in heat 12, lane 1, Esme Springham from Deben. Lane 3, Isabel Barber, Stowmarket. Lane 4, Helena Hall, Deben. Lane 5, Sophie Dowding, Team Ipswich. Lane 6, Romilly Marks, Newmarket. Lane 7, Madeline Latimer-Hicks, St Felix. And lane 8, Darcy Gladwell, Team Ipswich. So it looks like lane 4. Helena Hall taking the early lead as we come towards the halfway mark. Not much between the rest of the swimmers. But yeah, Helena turns first there in lane four in 33.02. Closely followed by Sophie Downing in lane five. So still Helena looking strong at uh, the middle there in lane four. As they come towards that third and final turn. And then not much between a couple of swimmers there in one, three, seven, eight for those minor places in this heat. So still looking like Helena Hall, lane three. Isabel Barber still going well in lane three. But looks like Helena from Deben will take this heat in lane four. And there she touches in 109.75. Isabel Barber takes second. And Esme Springham from Deben takes third. Couple more disqualifications from event 802. Heat five, lane seven for turn infringement. And again, 802, heat nine, lane one, also for turn infringement. So we now move on to the penultimate heat, heat 13, referee. And so the swimmers in heat 13, lane 1, Nane Tola from St. Felix, lane 2, Abigail Crawley, Team Ipswich, lane 3, Sophie Quinton, Deben, lane 4, Natalie Sanford, St. Felix, lane 5, Karis Rose Bunn, Team Ipswich, lane 6, Beth Young, Team Ipswich, lane 7, Chloe Armstrong, Team Ipswich, and lane 8, Molly Peacock, West Suffolk. So looking really close between the middle five or six swimmers as we come towards that halfway mark. Not much to between any of them. And we'll see, it is lane two, Abigail Crawley that takes that turn in 32.80, closely followed by Karis Rosebun. But literally two tenths of a second between the top four swimmers. Lane five, Karis Rosebun, looks like she might just have eked out in lane four. But again, still going well, Abigail Crawley in lane two. Looking for some real strong finishes here. Could be lane five or lane two. So Karis Rose might just have eked out in lane five. Great finish there. So it is Karis Rose Bunn from Team Ipswich, 106.84. Abigail Crawley second. And Beth Young, Team Ipswich in third. So we move on to the 14th and final heat of the girls' 100 backstroke. And so the swimmers in heat 14, lane 2, Amelie Crabb, Team Ipswich. Lane 3, Emily Cutting, West Suffolk. Lane 4, Matilda Bogle, D Team Ipswich. Lane 5, Collie Davies, Deben. Lane 6, Lorne Balfour, St Felix. Lane 7, Holly Driver, St Felix. Lane 8, Ella Houston, Deben. So strong start from Matilda Bogle from Team Ipswich in lane 4. Also going well, Amelia Crabb, Team Ipswich in lane 2. So Matilda looking strong there, she turns in 31.65, followed by Amelia Crabb and Connie Davis. But Matilda Boga looking really strong here in lane four. But close to second between Connie Davis and Amelia Crabb in lanes five and two respectively. 
But the Tilda's still looking strong as she comes into that final 10 metres. And Connie Davis from Diva may just be eking out into second place. But Matilda Bogle takes it there in lane four in 104.15. And second, Connie Davis. And third, Amelia, sorry, Amelie Crabb from Team Ipswich. We now move on to event 803, the boys 200 metres backstroke. This is being swum in nine heats. Over to you, referee. So in lane two, we have Max Palmer from West Suffolk. Lane three, Richard Level from West Suffolk. In four, Dexter Winterburn from Team Ipswich. In lane five, Joshua Blagg from Stowmarket. In six, Jacob Ems from Stowmarket. And in lane seven, also from Stowmarket, Evan Harrison. So eight lengths to pull a black or backstroke. And as we come to the end of the first 50 metres, it's team which is Josh Jablag in lane four, and West Suffolk's Richard Level in lane three. So lane three, four, and six. So Dex... Richard in lane three, Dexter in lane four, swimming side by side, and then out in lane six, going well as well as Stowmark is Jacob Ems. So still these three that are heading the rest of the field. And as we come to the end of the first 100 meters, in lane four, it's team ups, which is Dexter Winterburn. He's going to turn first here, just holding off Jacob in lane six and Richard in lane three. So Dexter in lane four maintaining this good pace as he comes to the turn, he turns ahead. Still lanes, nothing to choose between lanes three and six. So as they're trying to kind of work out their, the, their, the best pace here for their eight lengths, coming strongly the last five meters of 150 meters. Still team up switch Dex Dexter, he's now got about a three body length lead from the rest. Nothing to choose between Jacob and Richard in lanes three and six. Then turning in lane five is Joshua Blagg. But it's Dexter who's just slowly eats out his lead here. He's turning for home as he starts pushing really hard, really kicking hard for his final 25 metres. And just coming to third place, is his second place is Richard Level from West Suffolk in lane two. So it's Dexter coming in to touch first in this heat. In a time of 3.17. Just 14 seconds better than his entry time. Really tight for second place. Oh, and it's just Richard who touches ahead of Jacob. In lane four, in lane five, that's Joshua Black from Stowmarket coming home. And Max in lane two and Evan in lane seven. 
Lots of great PBs, boys. Well done. We move on to heat two of boys 200 meters backstroke. So competing in this heat, we have Stowe Market Swimmers in lane one and two, Rex Harrison in lane one, Jake Battle in lane two. In lane three, Toby Glenister from St. Felix. In lane four, his teammate Orlando Whiting. In lane five, we have Tom Phillips from West Suffolk. In six, Reese Watson from St. Felix. And in lane seven, Harrison Page from West Suffolk and Diggory Davis from Devon in lane eight. So it's just Orlando Whiting in lane four and Harrison Page in lane seven. She's coming into touch marginally ahead the rest of the field. So a nice turn there from Orlando Whiting from St. Felix. As he and Harrison Page in lane seven lead the rest of the field. So nothing really between Harrison and Orlando in lanes seven and four, but another good turn there from Orlando. He takes a little bit out of the rest of his team. So we come down to the halfway point, first 100 meters completed. That's Orlando Whiting from St. Felix. He's going to turn in first place. Nothing to choose from in lanes five and seven. That's Tom Phillips from West Suffolk and Harrison Page from West Suffolk. So with each turn, Orlando just starts to stretch away from the rest of his competitors. Still going well, West Suffolk teammates in lanes five and seven. Also coming through nicely, lane three, Toby Glenister from St. Felix. This Orlando who turns for his last final two lengths, starting to close in in the West Suffolk swimmers is Reese Watcham in lane six. And coming through now nicely is Toby Glenister from St. Felix in lane three. So Orlando turns for home. Starting to kick hard here for his last 10 meters. It's gonna be really tight for second place. Not much, nothing to choose between lanes three, Five and seven, lane seven looking to come and going. So Orlando comes home first in this heat in a time of 2.54.6.63. And coming through in lane seven is Harrison Page from West Suffolk. Just going to touch ahead of lane five, St. Felix swimmer, West Suffolk swimmer, Tom Phillips. We come on to heat three of boys 200 meters backstroke. Girls, just wait, please, wait. Wait, please, wait. Are you all right?
In lane one, we have Finlay Blythe from Skillmarket. Lane two, Sam Blackwell from West Suffolk. Lane three, Ali Skaden from Team Ipswich. Lane four, Sam Jackson from Deben. Lane six, Matthew Foster from Leyston. Lane seven, James Took from Team Ipswich. And in lane eight, Oscar Frost from Leyston. So Sammy Jackson, lane four from Deben. Turns first, setting the early pace. Also going well in lane two is West Suffolk, Samuel Blackwell. So Sam Jackson already established a small lead here. And then nothing between lanes two, six, and eight. So Samuel still just starting to stretch out from the rest of the field. Going to turn second place in lane eight. It's Oscar Frost, and then Samuel Blackswell in lane two from West Suffolk. So we come in at the 100 meter mark. It's going to be Sam turning in a time of one, me one minute 17.81 for 100 meters. Turning second in lane six is Leeson's Matthew Foster. And also in lane, three, lane two going well is Sam Black from West Suffolk. So Sam continuing to swim strongly in lane four. Lanes two, six, and eight, nothing really choose between them as they, they're fighting for second place in this heat. So Sam turns for his final 50 meters. It's still Lacen's Matthew Foster in lane six, just holding off his teammate Oscar Frost in lane eight. And team, Team Ipswich, West Suffolk, Samuel Blackwell in lane two. So everybody turned for the final 50 meters as Sam turns for, for home. So Sam, Sam were winning really, swimming really hard here for his final 10 meters. Still holding second place is Lacen's Matthew Foster in lane six. So Sam comes in. A time of 240.29. Still holding second place is Matthew Foster in lane six from Leyston. Just holding off his teammate in lane eight, who's going to come in third, and that's Oscar Frost. The finals for the 100 meters backstroke, girls 100 meters backstroke has been posted. Uh, can any withdrawals be made by half past four, please? We now move on to heat four of the boys 200 meters backstroke. I'll do this. Over to you, referee. So in lane one, we have Attila Moses from Team Ipswich. In lane two, Will Riley from Team Ipswich. In lane three, Hayden Garrett from Team Waveney. In four, Spencer Batterson from Team Waveney. In five, Tyler Baxter from Milden Hall. In six, Ewan Coakley from Team Ipswich. In seven, Joseph Clark from Stowmarket. And in late, Jude Gunner from St. Felix. So setting the early pace in lane eight, it's St. Felix's Jude Gunner. Turning just ahead of lane five of Tyler Baxter from Milton Hall. So first 50 meters of 36.37 for Jude. Field already starting to spread out after the first 75 meters. So it's Jude that turns first. And uh, nothing between Milton Hall's Tyler Baxter in lane five. 
and Team Waveney's Spencer Batson in lane four. So at the halfway mark, after 100 metres, it's Jude Gunner turning first in a time of 116.17. But a really good turn there in lane five from Tyler Bax from Milton Hall, starting to close in on Jude. So Jude turning first, but the gap's definitely been closed by Milton Hall's Tyler Baxter in lane five. Still holding in third place is Team Waves and his Spencer Batson in lane four. It's going to be Jude who's going to turn for the final 50 meters with about a two meter lead from Tyler Baxter in lane five. So we come down to the final, as we come towards the turn for the final 25 meters, it's not how well they've paced themselves. Jude looking swimming strongly again. He turns first in lane eight, then Tyler in lane five, followed by Spencer in lane four. So it's Jude that's swimming strongly here, but coming back really hard in lane five is Milton Hall's Tyler Baxter. But it's going to be Jude Gunner from St. Felix takes first place just ahead of Milton Hall's Tyler Baxter. And then Team Waveney's lane, Spencer Batson in lane four. We have a couple of disqualifications to announce. Event 803, heat number two, disqualifications in lane one and lane two for technical infractions. We move on to heat five. In lane two, we have Jamie Pennington from Team Ipswich. In lane three, Evan Aldridge from St. Felix. Lane four, Thomas Walker from Team Waveney. Lane five, Ben Houghton from Hadley. Lane six, William Jones from Team Ipswich. No swimmer in lane seven. In lane eight, Nicholas Barber from Stowmarket. So it's St. Felix's Ben Avery in, ben Avery in lane six. So Charlie McKinnon, St. Felix swimmer in lane five. Already setting an early pace here in the first 50 meters just ahead of lanes three and four and six. He turns first in time of 35.35. So it's Hadley's Ben Houghton. Holding a three, four meter lead on the rest of the field. Nothing to choose from the other five lanes. They're all neck and neck. So Charlie Fer Fin turns at 114.94. Very close between the rest of these swimmers. So Ben still maintaining the same lead. The other, the other five still trying to close that gap a little bit. Starting to come through in lane two. It's Team Mitchell's Jamie Pennington and St. Felix's Evan Aldridge in lane three. So Ben turns for his final 25 meters. Really tight for those second and third places in this heat. So ben, ben turns for home, having led the, the heat the whole way. 
Just turning in second place is Team Ipswich, Jamie Pennington in lane two. A really good turn from him. He's just holding off the rest of the field at the moment. So it's Ben Houghton from Hadley. He's going to bring, bring home first place in this heat. But coming through really strongly in lane eight is Nicholas Barber from Stowmarket. He's going to take second place, followed by Team Ipswich's Jamie Pennington in lane two. We have another disqualification, event 803, heat four, lane number three for a turning infringement. We move on to heat six. In lane one, we have Noah Mann from Newmarket. In lane two, Rufus Carr from St. Felix. No Summers in three and four. In five, Charlie McKinnon from St. Felix. In lane six, Ben Every from St. Felix. In seven, Daniel Turner from Team Waveney. In lane eight, Isaac Robertson from Newmarket. So set in the early pace in lanes one and two, we've got Noah Mann from Newmarket in lane one with a red cap. St. Felix swimmer Rufus Carr in lane two. So lanes one and two, turn ahead, nothing really splitting any of the field at the moment. A nice third length there in lane six is Ben Every from St. Felix. Turning just behind Noah Mann from Newmarket in lane one. So it's still the red cap and the new market swimmer. He's going to come in at the halfway point. St. Felix's Charlie McKinnon in lane six and his teammate Rufus Carr in lane two. So nothing much to choose from lanes one, two, and six. Lanes one and two without the benefit of lane three and four there to, to pace as well. So the two of them using each other to race down this, this next length. So nothing to choose between one, two, and six as they go for the final 50 meters. It's Noah just marginally ahead of Rufus in lane two. So it's lanes one and two that are going to turn. Nothing between a nice little, nice turn there from Rufus Carr in lane two. It's going to be a race between lanes one and two. So it looks like Rufus just starting to move ahead of Noah. Still swimming strongly in lane six. It's Ben Every from St. Felix, but it's going to be St. Felix swimmer in lane two. Rufus Carr takes first, followed by Noah Mann from Newmarket in lane one, and then St. Felix swimmer Ben Every in lane six. We move on to heat seven of 200 meters backstroke. Over to you, Efri.
In lane two, we have St. Felix swimmer Will Ma Willie Mallard. In lane three, Ben Howlett from Team Ipswich. In lane four, Patch Robinson from Team Ipswich. In lane five, Joseph McGonagall from Newmarket. In lane six, Oscar Winterburn from Team Ipswich. And in lane seven, Sam Tolput from Deben. So a really strong start here from St. Felix swimmer Willie Mallard in lane two. He's setting the early pace. He's going to turn first after 50 metres. So it's Willie Mallard turning in 31.31. Nothing to choose from lanes three to six. So since St. Felix swimmer in lane two is just starting to stretch ahead, he turns first. Closely followed in lane two by Ben Howlett from Team Ipswich. So Ben in lane three, still holding on to uh, St. Felix swimmer in lane two. William turns 100 meter mark in 106.36. So, William Mallard in lane two, he's setting the pace, being chased by the two Team Ipswich swimmers, Ben in lane three and Patch in lane four. So, William still leading, but not managing to stretch out that lead, coming back strongly on him with Ben Howlett and Team Ipswich in lane three. So, William turns for his final 50 meters, then in second place, it's Ben Howlett followed by Patch Robinson in lane four. So since Felix Swimmer still maintaining his pace, he turns for home. Patch closely on the heels of Ben. So as they swim hard for the final 10 meters, it's going to be St. Felix's William Eller is going to take this heat. Nothing between lanes two, three, and four. Just on who spots the wall. And it's just Patch Robinson who touches ahead of Ben Howlett. We come to heat eight of the boys' 100, 200 meters backstroke. In lane one, we have Ashton Redhead from Team Ipswich. In lane two, Harrison Holmes from Team Waveney. In lane three, Matthew Brown from Stowmarket. Lane four, Lloyd Basson from Team Waveney. In lane five, Alex Harrick from Team Ipswich. No summer in lane six. In lane seven, Jack Osborne from Deben. And lane seven, Harvey Hall from Deben. So in lane one, we have Team Ipswich, Ashton Redhead. And also going well in lane Seven is Jack Osborne from Deben. Those two turn first. Coming through nicely on that term is his team waves and his Lloyd Basson in lane four. So still Ashton in lane one who turns first. So swimmers in lanes one, four, and seven. So coming through in lane four now is Team Waves Lloyd Batson. He's going to turn first at 100 metres mark in 105.60. But a good turn there in lane one from Ashton. Still going well out in lane seven is Jack Osborne in deep from Deben. So nothing between lanes one and lane four who both turn together as they come down to the 150 meter mark.
So only 0.2 of a second separating lanes one and lane four. Starting to come through, swim strongly in lane five is Alex Harrop from Team Ipswich. But it's Ashton Redder from Team Ipswich in lane one. He turns first. A really strong turn from there as he comes home really strongly. He's holding the lead. He's from Lloyd Batson in lane four. It's going to be Team Ipswich swimmer in lane one takes first place, followed by Lane four, Lloyd Basson, Team Waveney, and then Debens, Jack Osborne, Lane seven, taking third. So we now come to the final heat of the boys' 200 metres backstroke. Let's hear your support for your teammates. In lane one, representing Newmarket, Cornelius Verdonk. In lane three, from West Suffolk, Matthew Baker. In lane four, from West Suffolk, Miles Turner. In lane five, from St. Felix, Marin de Villiard. In lane six from Felixo, Tom Boyt. In lane seven from Deben, Michael Connick. In lane eight, representing St. Felix, Joseph Kenny. So it's Marin de Villiard in lane five. Turns first, sets the early pace. He and Miles Turner in West Suffolk have the fastest entry times for this final heat. But it's St. Felix swimmer, sets the early pace, 28.20 after 50 meters. Just keeping in touch with them is West Suffolk Miles Turner in lane four. Also going well out in lane seven is Michael Connick from Deben. So it's Marin de Villiers turns first. Still holding on to him is West Suffolk Miles Turner lane four. So Marin de Villiers in lane five. He turns first. 100 meters, just sub one minute. So, Marin not managing to stretch away from Miles Turner in lane four. So, Miles has probably slightly narrowed that gap, but it's still Marin de Villiard from Felix Swimmer in lane five. So, with about half a body, body length, it's Marin de Villiard. He turns for his final 20, for his first final 50 meters. Closely followed, a really strong turn there by Miles Turner from West Suffolk in lane four. Michael Connick in lane seven, still holding on to third place as they to come to the final turn. Marion de Villiers turns. Can Miles Turner manage to catch him down? But looks like Marion de Villiers is going to be too strong for him on this occasion as he comes to the red zone. It's going to be Marion de Villiers who takes first place. Closely followed in second place by West Suffolk's Miles Turner. And they're really tight for third place. Is it going to be Michael Connick in lane seven? Just touched out by Matthew Baker from West Suffolk in lane three. So we now move on to event 804, which is the women's 10 years and over 200 meters freestyle. This will be swum in 12 heats. And this will be heat one.
And so the swimmers in heat one of the girls 200 metres freestyle, lane two, Amelia Armstrong from Stowe Market, lane three, Isla Coakley from Team Ipswich, lane four, Francesca Thompson, Team Waveney, lane five, Olivia Swallow, Team Ipswich, lane six, Caitlin Millen, Stowe Market, and lane seven, Violet Freezer, Team Ipswich. So it looks like Francesca Thompson, Team Waveney, taking an early lead there in lane four. From Isla Coakley, Team Ipswich in lane three, as they come down to complete the first 50. So Francesca turns first there in 40.54. In second place, Isla Coakley. And third, Olivia Swallow. But still early stages of this 200 metres freestyle. And so Francesca still maintaining that couple of metre lead. Uh, she comes into the, towards the halfway mark and actually beginning to pull away a bit th through this 25 metres. So Francesca now coming in towards that halfway point, about a four metre lead as she turns there in 125.16, followed by Isla Coakley in lane three and close for third with Olivia Swallow from Team Ipswich and Amelia Armstrong from Stone Market in lanes five and two. So Francesca probably slightly increasing this lead. Now moving seven or eight meters clear. As she comes down to complete this third 50, looking really strong there in lane four. Isla Coakley maintaining second place in lane three. So Francesca turns there at 150 metres in 209.57. With Isla Coakley now still turning second. And Olivia Swallow from Team Ipswich in lane five still to pull clear in third place. So Francesca there taking that final turn. Still looking strong, increase that lead to over 10 metres now. So Francesca coming into this final five metres, looking like a great time here. So she touches in 2.51.19, potentially a 27 second PB or at least on her entry time. So Isla Coakley finishes in second in 3.01.07. Again, a really well over 20 seconds PB on her entry time. And Olivia Swallow takes third place in lane five. So we now move on to heat two of the 200 freestyle, referee. So the swimmers in heat two, lane one, Maggie Marshall, Team Ipswich, lane two, Poppy Moore, West Suffolk, lane three, Emily Harrison, Stowe Market, lane four, Amelia Garnham, Team Ipswich, lane six, Izzy Gebbard from Team Ipswich, lane six, India Clement, West Suffolk, lane seven, Alanthe Alty, Team Ipswich, and lane eight, Amelia Rowe, West Suffolk. So close start to this second heat. Not much between the end of the swimmers between lanes four and eight, but it is lane four. Amelia Garnham from Team Ipswich, who turns first in 39.70 clue from Alanthe Alty from Team Ipswich in lane seven. But still not much to choose between the first five or six.
But Alanfi making a bit of a break here in lane seven. She's pulled clear on that third 25. So coming towards the halfway mark, still Alanfi from Team Ipswich in lane seven. Just going to take it here at the halfway mark in 124.63 followed by Izzy Gebhardt and Amelia Garnham, a teammates from Team Ipswich in lanes five and four. Now see if any of the swimmers are going to make a move on this third 50. But still is Olanthi from Team Ipswich in lane seven with about a metre lead, but close then between Amelia and Izzy in lanes four and five. Good turn there from Amelia Garnham in lane four. So come towards the 150 metre mark. Lane five, Izzy Gebhard just seems to be closing up. But Alanthi still turns first there in 209.18, just four tenths ahead of Izzy Gebhard in lane five. But all three girls out in front, now picking up the pace. Really as close as they come into this final turn. Looks like Izzy Gebhard in lane five has just taken the lead. Still close though, with Amelia and Alanthi in lanes four and seven. And Amelia really trying to dig deep, but Izzy just about holding on in lane five. And Izzy Gebhard from Team Ipswich takes it there in 247.94. Second, Amelia Garner from Team Ipswich. And third, Alanthi Olti, also Team Ipswich. And we move swiftly on to Heat 3, referee. And so the swimmers in heat three, lane one, Emily Sinclair, West Suffolk, lane two, Isabella Bryan, Team Ipswich, lane three, Emma Lovegrove, Mildenhall, lane four, Ellie Norton, Felixstowe, lane five, Nicole Pedlerty from Team Ipswich, lane six, Lily Hill, St Felix, and lane seven, Lily Monday, Team Ipswich, lane eight, Brooke Copping, West Suffolk. So great start there in lane six, Lily Hill from St Felix, also going well. Emily Sinclair from West Suffolk in lane one. But is Lily Hills there from St. Felix, takes that first 50 in 35-45. Closely followed by Emily Sinclair in lane one. So Lily still maintaining that slight lead in lane six from Emily in lane one. Nicole also going well in lane five. But now coming towards that halfway mark, not much to choose between the swimmers in lane one and six. And lane one turns first then, Emily Sinclair, 118.96, two hundredths ahead of Lily in lane six. Ellie Norton from Felix Doe also go well in lane four. Yeah, Summers lanes three, four and five beginning to close up. It still looks like lane one. Emily Sinclair just maintaining that lead through this third 50. Lily Hill still holding on to that second place. But Summers in lane three, four and five closing up as we come towards the 150 metre mark. But Emily Sinclair, West Suffolk in lane one, turns first in 203.38. Followed by Lily Hills, Nicole, and Ellie Norton, all still very close. A strong turn there from Nicole in lane five. She seems to move into second place. But Emily still maintaining that lead in lane one at the moment, and she will turn first in this final turn. 
with Nicole moving into second. And Emma Lovegrove also going well, turns third in lane three. Emily Sinclair really gone to her legs in this final 25. And Nicole also finishing really strong in lane five. But it looks like it will be Emily Sinclair from West Suffolk takes that heat in 244.50. With Nicole Pedley second in 246.59. And third, Emily Lovegrove from Mildenhall. So we now move on to heat four. And so the swimmers in heat four, lane one, Amelia Lewis, team Ipswich, lane two, Isabel Whitaker, team Waveney, lane three, Erin Dane, Stowmarket, Lane 4, Maya Thompson, team, sorry, Team Waveney, Lane 5, Francesca Barber, Stowmarket, Lane 6, Grace Mutton, Team Ipswich, Lane 7, Emily Turner, St Felix, and Lane 8, Charlotte Kelly, Team Ipswich. So looking like a strong start over there from Charlotte Kelly, Team Ipswich in Lane 8. Also going well, swimmers in the middle of the pool, Lanes 4, 5 and 6. But it is Charlotte that turns first in Lane 8 in 34.05 followed by Francesca Barber and Maya Thompson from Stowe Market and Team Waveney respectively in lanes four and five. But Charlotte still looking strong over there in lane eight. Pulled out a two or three meter lead as she turns towards the halfway mark. Still very close for second and third between Francesca and Maya in lanes four and five. Also going well is Amelia Lewis in lane one. But close there at the 100 meter mark. But Charlotte still holding on there at 113.48, followed by Mia Thompson from Team Waveney and Francesca Barber from Stowe Market. But Mia Thompson from Team Waveney is beginning to make a move in lane four. And very close there as she turns almost together with Charlotte Kelly in lane eight. And Francesca Barber from Stowe Market is still very much on their heels. So a three-way tie at the moment but swimmers in lanes four and five just beginning to move through as we come to the 150 meter mark and Maya Thompson just turns no apologies that was Francesca Barber 152.90 200 ahead of Maya Thompson in lane four and with Charlotte Kelly holding on to third over there in lane eight but still really tight between Maya and Francesca in lanes four and five into that final turn Maya may have just turned first. But really close as we come into the final 10 meters, almost stroke for stroke. Maya and Francesca really pushing it down that final five meters. Could be anyone's on the touch. And it goes to Francesca Barber from Stone Market, 230.24. For Maya Thompson, 230.48. And Amelia Lewis from Team Ipswich in lane one taking third. Now move on to Heat 5. And so the swimmers in Heat 5. Lane 1, Nicole Taylor, St Felix. Lane three, Lily Steele, Team Ipswich. Lane four, Imogen Ball, Waveney. Sorry, Team Waveney. Lane five, Maya. Sorry, May Richardson, Stowe Market. Lane six, Ella Deaton, Newmarket. Lane seven, Poppy Cater, Team Waveney. And lane eight, Eva Howlett, Team Waveney. So, a pretty strong start from lane one. Also going well. Ella from in lane six, closely followed by 
May Richardson in lane five, but it was lane six. Ella Deaton turns there in 34.58 from May Richardson and Nicole Taylor. But those swimmers in lanes five and six just beginning to pull a little bit clear. Although Nicole's still going well in lane one. So May Richardson from Stowe Market and Ella Deaton from Newmarket in lanes five and six. Still very much stroke for stroke. And we'll come to that 100 metre mark. And it was May Richardson turning first there in 112.61, closely followed by May Richardson and Nicole Taylor still holding that third place in lane three. But Lily Steele from Team Ipswich beginning to make a move in lane three. Certainly got herself up into third place at this moment in time. So May Richardson still just holding a sh slight advantage from Ella in six. And Lily Steele has moved clear into third place in lane three. But May turning first in 150.79 at the 150 mark from Ella Deaton and Lily Steele. So now into the final 50. May looking really strong in lane five, just pulled clear to about a body length. But Ella Deaton still digging in and hanging on to her coattails in lane six. And so we come down that final 25. And it's still May Richardson from Ella. Lily Steele also looking strong and finishing strong in lane three. But looks like May Richardson from Stone Market will take the seat in 226.66. Followed by Ella Deaton in 229.52. And Lily Steele in 230.67 takes third. And so we move swiftly on to heat six. And so the swimmers for heat six, Annette Molyneux from Hadley in lane one, Francesca Freeman, lane two, West Suffolk, lane three, Erin Barber, Newmarket, lane four, Isabel Moore, West Suffolk, lane five, Florence Tolbert, Newmarket, lane six, Adria Rudonte from Newmarket, lane, lane seven, Amelia Johnson, St. Felix, and lane eight, Selena Green, St. Felix. And again, strong start from lane one, Annette Molyneux from Hadley, also going well. Adria from Newmarket in lane six, close followed by a teammate, Florence, but it is lane one. Annette, who turns first there in 31.84, from Adrian Florence from Newmarket in lane six and five. Annette Molyneux still looking really strong from Hadley in lane one. Built up a couple of metre lead as she comes down towards the halfway mark. Very close then between three or four swimmers for the minor places but may just be Adrian Florence in lanes five and six. But Annette here from Hadley in lane one turns first at the halfway mark in 108.59, closely followed by Adria from Newmarket and Florence from Newmarket in lane six and five. We move into this third 50. And so Annette just about hold, maintaining that lead in lane one but beginning to close up in the middle of the pool. Lane two also looking strong now. Francesca Freeman from West Suffolk. She's really beginning to close up and may just be taking the lead as we come into that third 50. Florence from Newmarket also going well in lane five. Still five or six swimmers in this heat, but it is lane five. Florence Tolbert turns first in 148.26, 700 ahead of Francesca Freeman from West Suffolk. Still nothing to choose here between three or four swimmers. Lane two, Francesca looking strong. Florence in lane five. But four or five swimmers almost turned together. Who's going to bring it home in this last 25 metres? Lane two, Francesca Freeman. Florence Tolbert in lane five, also long and strong. 
but Andrew finishing strong in lane six, but may just look like lane five. And Florence Tobert from Newmarket takes it in 2.24.84 from Atima Adria, 2.25.22 in second. And, from, and a dead heat there for third place between Francesca Freeman and Isabel Moore in 2.25.52. So we now move on to heat seven. So the swimmers in heat seven, lane one, Amy Burgess, Team Ipswich, lane two, Anna Flowers, Layston, lane three, Gigi Gibbard from Team Ipswich, lane four, Chloe Armstrong, Team Ipswich, lane five, Megan Barker, West Suffolk, lane six, Chloe Knight, Hadley, lane seven, Jersey Holmes, Team Waveney, lane eight, Jemima Lashmar from Team Ipswich. So strong start from all the swimmers, but lane four, just beginning to build out small leads. So Chloe Armstrong from Team Ipswich. Also going well, Jersey Holmes and Team Waveney, but it is lane four. Chloe Armstrong turns first in 31.82 from Jersey Holmes, Team Waveney in lane seven. Closely followed by Megan Barker, West Suffolk in lane five. Can we just remind swimmers and team managers there will only be a short five minute interval between the end of this rate, this, these heats and the finals. So if the boys for the 100 breaststroke could start to get themselves ready and make themselves way across to the steward shortly. So come towards the halfway mark. Chloe Armstrong going well in lane four, 107.64. Followed by Zizi Jebel, a teammate from Team Ipswich, 109.82. And Jersey Holmes from Team Waverley turns third in 110. So Chloe from Team Ipswich still looking strong in lane four. She's eked out a two or three meter lead from her teammate, Ujizi in lane three. But Summers in five, seven and eight also going well. As we come to the 150 meter mark. So it will be Chloe Armstrong from Team Ipswich turning first in 145.15. From Jersey Holmes in second and Ujizi Jabbar in th third in lane three but really close to those minor places. But Chloe Armstrong just about maintaining that lead in lane four, she turns first. So we come down this final 10 meters, Chloe Armstrong maintaining her lead. Although Gigi finishing fast in lane three, as is from Jersey in lane seven. But first was Chloe Armstrong in 2.21.50 from Zizi in 2.24.34, and Jersey Holmes team Waverley finishing third in 2.24.53. There was a disqualification from event 804, heat six, lane two, for a starting infractment. So we now move on to heat eight. And so the swimmers in heat eight, lane one, Katie Stebbing, Stowmarket. Lane two, Rose R Romanus from Team Ipswich. Lane five, Hannah McNicholas, Deben. Lane four, Bethany Crawley, Team Ipswich. Lane five, Amelia Saunders, Layston. Lane six, Kira Broad, West Suffolk. Lane seven, Evie Armstrong, Team Ipswich. Lane eight, Evelyn Gaydon, Team Ipswich. And so it looks like a good start there from Hannah McNicholas from Deben in lane three, but not much to choose between the middle four or five swimmers as they turn at the 50 metre mark, and it is lane five, Amelia Saunders from Layston in 31.92 from Hannah McNicholas. And so some strong swimming here from a number of the swimmers, not much to choose between them, 
Katie Stebbings from Stone Market going well in lane one, as is Amelia Saunders and Kira Broad in lanes five and six. And it looks like it might just be Amelia Saunders from Leyston turns first in 107.39 from Kira Broad, West Suffolk, and Katie Stebbins, Stone Market's in second and third. Both Katie and Kira still looking strong. And the first three swimmers there very much turned together. So Katie in lane one. From Amelia and Kira in lanes five and six. As we come to the 150 metre mark. May still just be Amelia in lane five. She turns first in 143.82. From Kira Broad, West Suffolk in lane six. And Katie Stebbings, Stone Market in lane one but all to play for in this final 50 metres. Amelia Thorne is still going well, but Katie Stebbings looking strong in lane one, and Kira Broad from West Suffolk still with them over there in lane six. All the girls go to their leg kick. Still very close, lanes one, five and six. We'll come down to this final five metres. Looks like may just be... Amelia Saunders in lane five, takes it in 2.19.44. From Kira Broad, West Suffolk, 2.20.04. And third, Katie Stebbings, So just a reminder to swimmers that will be a short five minute interval after the next four heats of this before we move on to the finals. So a reminder if the boys for the 100 breaststroke finals could start to get themselves organised and across to the competitor stewards shortly. So now move on to heat nine. And so the swimmers in heat nine, lane one, Kira Turner, Team Waverney, lane two, Grace Robinson, St. Felix, lane three, Keris Williams, West Suffolk, lane five, Rebecca Brown, Stowe Market, lane six, Emily Knight, Hadley, and lane seven, Lilia Clarkson, St. Felix. So strong start from Keris Williams from West Suffolk in lane three. Pulled out a body length already as she comes towards the 50 metre mark. With lane two, Grace Robinson from St. Felix in second place. But it is Keris that turns first in 29.61 from Grace Robinson and Emily Knight. But Keris Williams really taking this race by the scruff of the neck, really looking strong. And so we come towards the halfway mark. It's still Keris Williams from West Suffolk. And she will turn first at the 50 meter, uh, sorry, 100 meter mark in 103.12. In second, it's still Grace Robinson from C St. Felix, and third, Emily Knight from Hadley. But Keris really looking strong. She's pulled a good five, six meters out. And so, Kellis still looking strong. She comes towards the 150 metre mark, leading by a good 789 metres, and she turns there in 138.17. Grace Robinson from St. Felix turns second, 144.70, and in third, Emily Knight from Hadley, 145.89. But Kellis Williams has looked strong from the start. She then takes that final turn. And she now comes into the final five metres. Been a great swim from Curtis Williams from West Suffolk. And she takes that heat in 2.13.40. Seven seconds quicker than an entry time. 
And finishing second, Grace Robinson from St. Felix, 2.19.71. And Rebecca Brown with a strong finish there from Stowe Market, takes third, 2.22.70. And so we move swiftly on to heat 10. And the summers in heat 10, lane 1, Ella Houston, Deben, lane 2, Elsie Pooley, West Suffolk, lane 4, Darcy Gladwell, Team Ipswich, lane 5, Charlotte Samford, St Felix, lane 6, Natalie Taylor, St Felix, lane 7, Elijah Britton, St Felix, and lane 8, Sophie Pennington, Team Ipswich. So, look, really close first 50 here, may just be lane Five, and it is Charlotte Sanford turns first there in 31.45, 100 of a second ahead of, of Natalie Taylor, a teammate in lane six. And so we come towards the halfway mark, still looking very close, and there's lanes five to eight. So it could just be lanes five and six, just slightly eked ahead. And it is lane five. Charlotte Sanford turns first in 106.49. Three hundredths ahead of Charlotte Sanf uh, sorry, Natalie Taylor. And Elijah Britton turns third in 106.84. And still very close. Not much to choose between any of the swimmers in lanes four to seven, lane eight. Sophie Pennington also holding on in there. May just be lane six. Lane six turns there, Natalie Taylor, 142.21 from a teammate, Charlotte Sanford, 142.28. But still nothing to choose between the first four swimmers, half a second. As we come towards the final turn. Darcy Gladwell getting herself back into the race in lane four from Team Ipswich. But also Natalie Taylor from St Felix going well and Charlotte Sanford in lane five still in amongst it. Nothing to choose between them as they come into that final five metres. We'll be on the touch and Natalie Taylor holds on in 2.15.86 from Darcy Gladwell 2.15.91 and third Charlotte Sanford from St Felix in 2.16.34. Once more, boys, for the 100 breaststroke, if you can make your way to the competitor stewards, please, for the finals, as we move on to heat 11. And the swimmers in heat 11, lane 1, Abigail Crawley, Team Ipswich, lane 2, Emily Crabb, Team Ipswich, lane 3, Romilly Marks, Newmarket, lane 4, Connie Davies, Deben, lane 5, Beth Young, Team Ipswich, lane 6, Isabel Barber, Stowe Market, lane 7, Laura Snellum, St Felix, and lane 8, Ellie Burwood, St Felix. So, really tight in that first 25, but it is lane five. Beth Young from Team Ipswich turns first in 30-80 from Isabel Barber from Stowe Market and Abigail Crawley, Team Ipswich. So, still not much between them. Abigail Crawley from Team Ipswich going one in lane one but also looking strong. Isabel Barber from Stone Market in lane six. And it is lane six, Isabel Barber that turns first in 
from Beth Young and Abigail Crawley as they go into this third 50. Isabel Barber still going well there in lane six, just eats out a small advantage for the two team Ipswich swimmers in lanes one and five, but still not much to choose them with 75 metres to go. And so we come towards the 150 metre mark. Still Isabel Barber from Stone Market turns first. 137.94 from Beth Young, 138.57. Connie Davis from Deven has moved up into third place, 139.61. And she's starting to look really strong at the back end of this race. And Abigail Crawley from Team Ipswich also not out of it over here in lane one. Beth Young just gone into the lead there in lane five. Connie Davies also looking strong, as is Abigail Crawley in lane one. But may still just be Beth in lane five from Abigail and Connie. And it will be Beth that takes it in 2.11.56 from Connie Davies, 2.12.41. And Abigail Crawley takes third in 2.12.92. And so we move on to the 12th and final heat of the girls 200 metres freestyle. And your swimmers are in lane one from Deben, Helena Hall. And in lane two from St. Felix, Rosie Brooks. And in lane three, also from St. Felix, Natalie Sanford. In lane four from Team Ipswich, Karis Rose Bunn. In lane five, also from Team Ipswich, Matilda Bogle. In lane six, from St. Felix, Madeline Latimer-Hicks. And in lane seven, from St. Felix, Holly Driver. And finally, in lane eight, from Team Ipswich, Sophie Dowding. And so away in this final heat of the women's 200 metres freestyle. Not much to choose them at the first turn. But Karis Rose Bunn from Team Ipswich looking strong in lane four. Also Natalie Sam from St Felix going well in lane three, but it will be Karis Rose that turns first. 29.11 from Natalie Sam for 29.80. Also going well Rosie Brooks in lane two. 29.83. So we're coming towards the halfway mark and it is still Karis Rose Bunn from Team Ipswich in lane four. Just about a body length lead from Natalie Sampson from St. Felix in lane three. Close for third but it might still be Rosie Brooks from St. Felix in lane two. Karis Rose turns first in 101.20 from Natalie Sanford in 102.57. And third was Matilda Bogle in 102.99. Karis Rose Bunn still holding that body length lead as we come down this to the 150 mark. Natalie Sanford seems to have moved clear in second place in lane three, still very close for third, for lanes two, five, and six. But it is Karis Rose Bunn turns in 133.77 from Natalie Sanford in 135.38 and Matilda Bogle in 136.40. Those three just about pull themselves clear of the rest of the field, although Madeline in lane six is hanging on. But it is Karis Rose Bunn coming down this final 25 metres, looking really strong, legs kicking in, but Natalie Sanford also looking strong in lane three. But it is going to be Karis Rose Bunn to take this 12th and final heat in lane four. She takes that in 205.78 from Natalie Sanford in 208.52. And third, Matilda Bogle, 209.25. Great race, girls. Well done. And so we will now have a short five-minute interval with the final starting at 5.15.
So we come to the finals of the evening. First one is event 805, the boys 10 and 11 year old 100 meter breaststroke final. So your finalists are in lane one from Stowe Market, Dylan Lambo. In lane two from Leyston, Noah Turner. In lane three from Stowe Market, Rex Harrison. In lane four from Team Ipswich, Janos Cepeli. In lane five from Team Ipswich, James Took. In lane six from St. Felix, Reese Watcham. In lane seven from Team Ipswich, Dexter Winterburn. And in lane eight from West Suffolk, Max Pammer. Over to you, referee. So we're off for this first final. And Janos in lane four for Team Ipswich, you came in with the fastest qualifying time already, starting to move away from the field. A very fast first 25 meters from Janos. So Janos already looking strong, going well in lane five. His teammate James Took. And in, in lane three, Rex Harrison from Stowe Market. But Janos already standing out about a five meter lead as he comes to turn after the first 50 meters in a time of 45.48. So now moved into a clear second place in lane five is James Took also from Team Ipswich. And then currently in third place from Stowe Market, Rex Harrison in lane three. But it's Janos who's stretching away from the rest of the field. Really strong swim here from Janos as he turns for home. So Janos with about a seven meter lead. He's powering down this final 25 meters, chased by his teammate James Took in lane five. Still holding third place in lane three is still Marcus Rex Harrison. But it's Janos, Cepeli from Team Ipswich, Going to come home for this, take this final in a time of 1.36.06, faster than his qualifying time. And in second place, also from Team Ipswich, is going to be James Took. And picking up bronze position from Stowe Market, Rex Harrison in lane three. So we move on to event 806. The boys 12 years, 100 meters breaststroke. And in lane one from Team Waveney, James Whittaker. In lane two, representing West Suffolk, Richard Level. In lane three from Ipswich, Alexander Gaden. In lane four from St. Felix, Orlando Whiting. In lane five from Team Ipswich, William Jones. In lane six from Team Ipswich, Attila Moses. And in lane seven from St. Felix, Ethan Wallace. So a really strong start there from Orlando Whiting. Comes in with an inch time of 132.31.
closely on his heels, William Jones and Team Ipswich in lane five. So to Orlando turning first here in the first 25 meters. So it's Orlando and William in lane fours and five who are pulling away from the rest of the field. So currently going to form from entry time to Orlando's going to turn first end of 50 meters in a time of 44.13. Still staying really close with them as the team which is William Jones in lane five. And in third place, it's Alexander Gain from Awesome Team team Ipswich in lane three. So it's Orlando still maintaining his slender lead at the moment as he comes to turn for home. So Orlando turns first with about a metre and a half lead from Team Ipswich's William Jones in lane five. So can Team Ipswich catch up with St. Felix swimmer here? So everyone's coming down really strongly, but it's going to be Orlando White. He's not done. He's going to get caught here. So the last final five minute meters, it's Orlando White and St. Felix. He's going to take first place. Closely followed by Team Ipswich's William Jones in lane five. And it's very close for third place between lanes three and lane six as they push home for really hard for home. And it's just lane three, it's Alexander Gain from Team Ipswich who takes third place. So we come to event 807, boys 13 year old, 100 meter breaststroke final. And your finalists in lane one from West Suffolk, Tom Phillips. In lane two from St. Felix, Aidan Scott. In lane three from Stowe Market, Finlay Blagg. In lane four from Team Ipswich, Charlie Ruddle. In lane five, from Team Ipswich, Will Riley. In lane six, from Stowe Market, Jude Mason. In lane seven, from Leiston, Benjamin Langford. In lane eight, from Stowe Market, Joseph Handley. Over to you, referee. So we're off and running in this boys 13 year old breaststroke final. So already setting the early pace as Will Riley. Charlie Ruddle in lane four comes in with a 12, 12 second advantage based on entry times. So going really strongly chased by Will Riley, Team Ipswich in lane five. There's Charlie already establishing a commanding lead at the end of 50 meters as he turns in a time of 37.2. His team Ipswich, Will Riley in lane five, turns second, and just in third place is Stowe Market's Finlay Blagg. So, absolutely dominating this race is Charlie Ruddle from Team Ipswich. He turns for home with at least a 12 meter advantage in the rest of this field. So it's a fantastic swim from Ch Charlie Ruddle, Team Ipswich. Still holding second place to his Team Ipswich, Will Riley. So coming, coming home, first place, Charlie Ruddle in lane four in a time of 118.57, another PB. Going to take silver medal. His teammate, Will Riley in lane five, he's going to take second place. And coming home in third place is Stowe Market's Finlay Blagg in lane three. So we now come to event 808, boys 14 years, 100 meters breaststroke final. 
in this final, your finalists are in lane one from Leiston, Max Nichols. In lane two from Stowmarket, Joseph Clark. In lane three from Team Ipswich, Oscar Winterburn. In lane four from Team Ipswich, Alex Harrop. In lane five from St. Felix, Ben Every. In lane six from Stowmarket, Taylor Ruffles Francis. In lane seven from Team Waveney, Daniel Turner. And in lane eight from Team Ipswich, Ethan Thompson. Not much time set in this field on their entry times. So just lanes four and five, it just starting to, with a stronger first 25 meters, that's Alex Harrop in lane four from Team Ipswich, Ben Avery from Team Ipswich in lane five. So a strong underwater phase there from Alex. Just holding off St. Felix's Ben Avery in lane five. As they come in at the end of the first 50 meters, nothing between these two. It's going to be Alex just turning first in a time of 36.32. So it's Alex and Ben occupying first, second place. In third place, the team which which is Oscar Winterburn in lane three. And Stowe Markets, Taylor Ruffles Francis in lane five, lane six. So it's still Alex just holding off Ben. So a really good turn there from Alex. In lane four as he comes down. Ben trying to chase really hard to catch up with him, but I think it's going to be too much to, to close. In lane four, it's going to be Alex Harp from Team Ipswich takes gold. Silver goes to Ben Avery from St. Felix. And coming through in lane six, Taylor Ruffles, Francis from Stowe Market takes bronze. We come to event 809, men's 15 years, 100 meters breaststroke. In lane one from St. Felix, Nathan Birchenhoff. In lane two from Team Waveney, Luke Wilson. In lane three from Stowe Market, Thomas Spellman. In lane four from Team Ipswich, Patch Robinson. In lane five from St. Felix, Charlie McKinnon. In lane six from Team Ipswich, Ben Howlett. And in lane eight from Stowmarket, Nicholas Barber. So Patch Robinson comes in with a two second advantage in the rest of the field in entry times. And he's currently leading the field in lane four. So it's Patch going to turn first at the end of the first 25 meters. Nothing between second place, Thomas Spellman, Stowmarket in lane three and Charlie McKinnonson, Felix in lane five. So Charlie McKinnonson, Felix in lane five, holding on to Patch Robinson. Patch with a slight lead, he's going to turn first at the end of the 50, first 50 meters in a time of 33.50. So it's still Patch holding off Charlie in lane five. So Patch just trying to stretch that out. Now got probably got a meter and a half advantage. Comes into the red zone in the third length. So as Patch turns first ahead of Charlie in lane five. In third place it's Luke Thomas Spellman from Stowe Market in lane three. So Charlie McKinnon in lane five pushing, pushing Patch really hard. It's gonna be really close. 
He's gaining on Patch. Patch still slightly ahead. It's going to be so close to see who touches it. I'll look at the scoreboard for this one. And it's just Tom, Charlie McKinnon just edging out Patch Tom Robinson in lane four. Fantastic racing, boys. We come to event 810. Men's 16 years, 100 meter breaststroke final. Your finalists in lane one from Newmarket, Lewis Oliver. In lane two from Newmarket, Thomas Deaton. In lane three from St. Felix, William Ellard. In lane four from West Suffolk, Luca Page. In lane five from West Suffolk, Archie Chamberlain. In lane six from Newmarket, Joseph McGonagall. In lane seven from Deben, Sam Talput. And lane eight, lane eight from Hadley, Ben Houghton. So only a second separating lanes four and five in entry times. As we come down to the first turn, there's nothing between lane three, four and five. Lane three, Will Mellerson's Felix just turned first. He's got a slight lead on the other two. So it's William Mellard in lane three. He's coming down as he hits the red zone in the first 20, 50 meters. Lane three, four, five, nothing between them. So it's just lane four. Luke Page from West Suffolk turns in 33.34, point three hundredths of a second ahead of lane four. So Will and Luke just stroke for stroke as they come down this lane, both into the red zone. They're going to turn it exactly the same time. Nothing between them as they both turn for home. In third place, it's Archie Chamberlain from West Suffolk in lane five. So a good turn there from Will Ellard and St. Felix, just holding off Will at the moment. So the two of them neck, racing neck and neck, still coming through in lane five, it's Archie Chamberlain. It looks like it could be just lane three, just touches ahead. Lane three just gets it by, by four hundredths of a second from Luca Page in West Suffolk. Bronze medal goes to lane five, Archie Chamberlain from West Suffolk. We come to event 811, the men's 17 years and over, 100 meter breaststroke final. Your finalists, in lane one from Stowmarket, Lewis Chapman. In lane two from West Suffolk, Miles Turner. In lane three from Team Ipswich, Sam Perkins. In lane four from West Suffolk, Henry King. In lane five from Deben, Harvey Hall. In lane six from West Suffolk, Thomas Page. In lane seven from Team Ipswich, Joe Cooper. In lane eight from Team Ipswich, Matthew Debenham. On paper, it's lane four, Henry, and lane five, Harvey are playing for it, but there's any, everything's at stake here. Going really well in lane six, a really strong start from Thomas Page in West Suffolk. So, really tight from lanes three through to six. So, really tight at the end of the first 50 meters. Just lane four and la lane five and lane six. So. Harvey Hall and Thomas Page. 0.3 of a second separating the first three swimmers. 
So West Suffolk's Henry King in lane four, probably just slightly ahead of Harvey Hall in lane five from Deben. As we turn for the final length, it's Henry King who turns first for West Suffolk. A good turn there from Henry. He's got about half a meter length ahead of lane five and lane six. So it's still Henry holding off Harvey Hall from Deben in lane five. Is Henry going to come in first? Really tight for St. Henry in first. Harvey in lane five for second and Third place goes to Thomas Page from West Suffolk in lane six. Excellent racing, thank you for that. So we now move on to event 812, which is the girls 10 and 1100 metres backstroke final. And your finalists are in lane one from West Suffolk, Poppy Moore. In lane two from Team Ipswich, Alanthe Olty. In lane three from Felixstowe, Naila Shake. In lane four from Newmarket, Nina Allen. In lane five from Team Ipswich, Isla Coakley. In lane six from Team Ipswich, Izzy Gibbard. In lane seven from West Suffolk, India Clements. And in lane eight from Newmarket, KC Hopewell Campion. And so we're underway in event 8-1-12, the first of the finals of the girls' 100 backstroke. This is for the 10 and 11-year-olds. And it's Nina Allen from Newmarket taking an early lead in lane four as they come into the first turn. And so we come towards the 50-metre mark and it's still Nina Allen from Newmarket, closely followed by... Marlis from Felixstowe in lane three. Also going well is Casey over in lane eight. But it's going to be Nina Allen from Newmarket that turns first in 41.91. Closely followed by Majaco from Felixstowe, 43.44. As we go into this third 25. Lanthiolti from Team Ipswich, just moving herself into third place in lane two. As we come towards the third and final turn. And it is still Nina Allen from Newmarket. Turns first in lane three. Closely followed by Maya Jacquet from Felixstowe and Alanthi Olty from Team Ipswich. As we come down this third and final length, Nina Allen's pulled herself clear. Coming towards that final five metres. Maya Jacquet from Felixstowe still pushing her hard. But it is going to be Nina who takes that in 127.14. Second is Maya Jacque from Felixstowe in 130.09, and Alanthe Olty from Team Ipswich takes third in 130.88. And we now move on to event 813, the girls' 12 years 100 metres backstroke final. And your swimmers are in lane one from Team Waveney, Francesca Thompson. In lane two from Team Ipswich, Isabella Bryan. In lane three, also from Team Ipswich, Grace Mutton. In lane four from Newmarket, Erin Barber. In lane five from Team Ipswich, Lily Steele. In lane six from Team Ipswich, Nicole Penalty. Lane seven from Layston, Charlotte Catchpole. And lane eight from Team Ipswich, Lily Monday.
And it's now underway in the girls 12 years 100 metres backstroke final. Again, strong start from Erin Barber in lane four from Newmarket. Lily Steele also from Team Eric Switch looking strong down this first 25. But it is Erin Barber from Newmarket turning first. From Lily Steele, Team Ipswich. Also going well, Grace Mutton from Team Ipswich in lane three. Very much going to form at the moment as we come down to the 50 metre mark. Erin Barber looking really strong, a bit over body length. She turns first there in 35.04. Second was Lily Steele from Team Ipswich in 37.62. And Charlotte Catchman from Leiston turns third in 40.57. But Erin Barber. And Lily still well ahead in first and second, but all to play for, for the third place. But Erin Barber really driving home down this last 25. She's a good five metres clear of Lily Steele from Team Ipswich. That third place looks like Grace Mutton just holding that in lane three at the moment. But Erin Barber from Newmarket finishes first there in... Oh, the clock didn't stop. Second was Lily Steele in 116.72. And third was Grace Mutton in 122.55. And there, Erin's time looking like 112.43. Great race, girls. Well done. And so we move on to Evate 814, the girls 13 years, 100 metres backstroke. And your swimmers are in lane one, Amelia Lewis, Team Ipswich. In lane two from Team Ipswich, Amy Burgess. In lane three from St Felix, Grace Robinson. In lane four from Team Ipswich, Clementine Lavelle. In lane five from Hadley, Chloe Knight. In lane six from Team Ipswich, Jemima Lashmar. In lane seven from St Felix, Amelia Johnson. And in lane eight from Newmarket, Ella Deaton. And so we're underway in the girls' 13 years, 100 metres backstroke. Really great start there from Chloe Knight from Hadley in lane five. She's taken the early lead from Grace and Clementine in lanes three and four. But it is Chloe from Hadley that turns first in lane five. Clementine going well in lane four, just beginning to claw herself back. As we come to the halfway mark. And Chloe Knight turns first there in lane five in 32.95. From Clementine from Team Ipswich in 33.74. Grace Robinson from St. Felix lying third. Those three just got themselves away. But a strong third 25 from Clementine. Just trying to claw her way back to Chloe, but it's still Chloe that turns first. So we come down that final 25. Another great turn from both girls. Nothing to choose between them as we come into the last 10 metres. Clementine is climbing up, but Chloe's holding on in there. It's going to come down to the touch. Lanes four and five, nothing to choose between them. And it is Chloe Knight from Hadley that touches in 108.90. Just six hundredths of clear of Clementine from Team Ipswich in second. And Grace Robinson from St. Felix takes third. Well done, girls. Great race. We have a disqualification from event 812, lane eight, for a turn in Flaxment. We now move on to event 815, which is the girls' 100 metres backstroke. And your swimmers are in lane one from Hadley, Mel Motts. In lane two from Team Ipswich, Bethany Crawley. In lane three from Newmarket, Lily Brandt. 
In lane four, also from Newmarket, Adria Redonte. In lane five, from Team Ipswich, Darcy Gladwell. In lane six, from Deben, Florence Davies. In lane seven, from West Suffolk, Isabel Moore. And in lane eight, from Stowmarket, May Richardson. And so underway in the girls' 14 years, 100 metres backstroke final. Really strong start there from the swimmers in 4-5, also lane 7. Isabel Moore having a great first 25. But it is Adria from Newmarket that turns first in lane 4. From Darcy in lane 5. So coming towards this halfway mark, and it is... Adria from Newmarket, leading from Darcy from Team Ipswich in lane fours and five. Adria turns first in 33.74 from Darcy Gladwell and also Lily Brunt. But Adria and Darcy starting to pull away, lanes three and four, building up commanding lead from the rest of the field. But Adria turns first, but Darcy's close behind in lane five. All to play for down this last 25 metres. Adria's still holding on, but Darcy's coming back. It's going to be close to coming to this last five metres. But it is Adria Ludwig from Newmarket, takes it in 109.27. From Darcy Gladwell, 110.07. And third, Lily Brandt from Newmarket, 114.33. And so we move on to event 816, the girls 15 years, 100 metres backstroke. And your finalists are in lane one from Stowmarket, Rebecca Brown. In lane two from Hadley, Emily Knight. In lane three from St Felix, Lilia Clarkson. In lane four from Team Ipswich, Emily Crabb. In lane five, also from Team Ipswich, Chloe Armstrong. In lane six, Team Ipswich, Sophie Dowding. And in lane seven, from West Suffolk, Francesca Freeman. And in lane eight, from St. Felix, Natalie Taylor. And so this is the girls' 15 years, 100 metres backstroke final. All looking really strong in the middle of the field. Great start there from Sophie Dowding in lane six. Also going well with her teammate Chloe Armstrong in lane five. And Emily Crabb from Team Ipswich, but nothing to choose between them. After that first 25, as we come towards the halfway mark, it might just be Chloe Armstrong in lane five, but Sophie Dowding in lane six. And Amelia Crabbe, Amelia Crabbe also going well. But it is lane five. Chloe Armstrong turns first in 33-23. Two hundreds ahead of Sophie Dowding in 33-25. But the three teammates all well away. Feeling clear. Then may just be Sophie. But Amelia also going well in lane four. And Chloe still in amongst it in lane five. So still looking strong, Sophie going well in six, Amelie in four. They look to be cool, clear, nothing between it, but it looks like it could be. And it is lane six, Sophie Dowding in 108.27. From Amelie Crabbe in 108.40. And third, Chloe Armstrong, 109.66. Another great race, girls, well done.
And so we move on to event 817, the women's 16 years 100 metres backstroke final. And your swimmers are in lane one from West Suffolk, Elsie Pooley. In lane two from Stowmarket, Isabel Barber. In lane three from Team Ipswich, Beth Young. In lane four, also from Team Ipswich, Matilda Bogle. In lane five, again from Team Ipswich, Karis Rose Bunn. In lane six, from Deben, Connie Davies. In lane seven, from Newmarket, Romilly Marks. And in lane eight, from St. Felix, Ellie Burwood. So the women's 16 years, 100 metres backstroke. Great start there for Matilda in lane four. But also going well, Beth Young in lane three. So nothing to choose between three or four swimmers as they turn there at the first 25. May just be Matilda in lane four. Connie Davis from Dublin also going well in lane six. As is Beth Young in lane four and Karis Bunn but it is Matilda Bogle that turns first in lane four, 31.57 from Beth Young, 32.49 and Connie Davis, 32.71 into this third 25. Matilda Bogle from Beth Young, really close for third place between Cass Rose Bunn and Connie Davies into that third and final turn. But it is still Matilda Bogle, she's built a body length lead, but really close to those minor places. Coming into the fast five, ten metres, but it will be Matilda Bogle that takes this final in lane four, 104.21. Second, Beth Young, 106.68, and third, Connie Davies, 107.34. Well done, ladies, another great race. And so we move on to event 818, the final event of the evening, the women's 70 and over, 100 metres backstroke. And your swimmers are in lane one from Deben, Esme Springham. In lane two, also from Deben, Helena Hall. And again from Deben, in lane three, Sophie Quinton. In lane four from Team Ipswich, Abigail Crawley. In lane five from St. Felix, Natalie Sanford. In lane six, also from St. Felix, Holly Driver. In lane seven, again from St. Felix, Lauren Balfour. And again from lane, so from St. Felix in lane eight, Madeline Latimer Hicks. And so we're into this final event of the evening. After another great weekend of swimming, Abigail Crawley and Natalie Sanford looking strong down this first 25, but also going well, Esme Springham in lane one. And so as we come towards the halfway mark, looks like Natalie Sanford from St. Felix, taking an early lead from Abigail Crawley from Team Ipswich in lane four. But it is Natalie Sanford that turns first in 32.30 from Abigail Crawley and Sophie Quinton. So Natalie Sanford from St. Felix still maintaining that slender lead from Abigail Crawley and Sophie Quinton. As we come into this third and final turn, but it's really closing up. Natalie's just about there. 
But Abigail and Sophie are close behind. All to play for down this last 25 metres. But Natalie still looks strong in lane five. From Sophie, so from Abigail and that's it. But it will be Natalie takes that in 106.75. From Abigail Crawley, 107.71. And Sophie Quinton takes third in 109.11. Well done, ladies. Thank you very much. Great way to finish the weekend. Right, thank you very much. Well done, swimmers, coaches, team managers. Another great weekend of swimming. We hope everybody has a safe journey home, and we'll see you for the final day next Sunday for the 400 freestyles, the skins, and the reef.